Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. Today I'm going to do a pick a pile reading. I have two piles only, okay. Um, I've been a little bit under the weather lately, a little cold, um, trying to brave that. But otherwise, I felt like I could do this today on 10-10-2019, even though this is timeless. Um, I just had the urge to do this. All right, so I'm so glad if you made it here from Sacred Geometry Universe. Um, yeah, I'll be closing that site down soon, so hopefully others find their way. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, and share on these videos. Um, I really appreciate you guys coming here. And, um, of course, you can check the end for additional messages. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. We have pile one and we have pile two. All right, and today's question is what's going on in my current situation? Okay, what's going on in my current situation? Timeless, pick a pile. Okay, what's going on in my current situation if you need more time you can go ahead and stop the video and think about it but I'm gonna get started with the first pile okay and there it is <laughs> so this is the overall energy today though we have the hair event okay somebody's trying to uh, make things happen. Somebody wants to make something happen, right? Make change in, in whatever's going on in a certain situation. Okay. So, what's going on in my current situation? I would like to get three cards if I could. Spirit, God, Universe, Ancestors, please give me three cards if you could. Three cards, please. For what's going on? In my current situation, I need three cards, please. Three cards. What's going on? What's going on in my current situation? God, please let me know what is going on in my current situation. I need one more card, please. What's going on? Okay, perfect. This was the third one first one and the second one so let's put these down for a second see what we have here okay first of all we have the ten of swords in reverse princess of cups nine of swords okay somebody is done uh, with this backstabbing okay somebody has turned the tables okay um, this has to do with a younger person in your life, perhaps, okay? Somebody with deep emotion. And they have been fighting for a situation, all right? They've been fighting for a certain particular situation, all right? And, you know, and, you know, like, um, it's been a trying time for them, okay? And, you know, with that Hierophant there, it's, you know, somebody is not really going with the flow with what they're normally doing, right? Um, they've learned something, okay? They have learned something in a situation. They have unlocked the doors to some sort of knowledge but either way, with that Ten of Swords right there, there's some sort of, you know, someone is ready to, to recover from a bad situation, okay? And somebody has learned their lesson. They've learned the lesson from this situation, whatever it was, so you know what this was, so whatever that situation was, you have learned, okay, and um, somebody wants to start something new, you know, 
They want to start something new. There's a rebirth of something, okay? This person probably is really sensitive. They're open to honesty, just like we all are, right? But somebody wants to have some sort of heartfelt communication, okay? And, you know, this girl, she reminds us to be, you know, she's got butterflies on her, you know. She's starting new, so be patient. She's asking for a little patience, right? <laughs> yeah, she, that's what she's doing. She's asking for a little patience because she's been through a lot. And she's just trying to, she's just trying to recover. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Oh. And, you know, with the Nine of Swords right there, there's a little guilt and regret from what happened. And, you know, there's some fear and doubt on, on what's going to happen in the future, but, you know, she feels paralyzed, you know, this, this girl here in this Nine of Swords energy. She feels like she can't do anything. So basically, she's just assessing the pain that has happened, all the sadness. She keeps going over it in her mind. She's fighting with herself about it, you know, and it's just, uh, it's not leading anywhere at the moment. Let's see what we have for another row of cards in this story. Starting from the Ten of Swords to the Princess of Cups to the Nine of Swords. I just need one card for each. <clears throat> Sorry about that. You know, I totally have had this, this terrible cough and uh, the weather here. You know, right now I'm in Missouri. Or actually, I think this is... Uh, right now I'm in Kansas City because uh, I'm in a room waiting for my home. So I'm here in one of these momos trying to recover from whatever this is that I have, this cough and cold symptom. I think I'm going to go to the local Walmart and um, go get some cough and cold medicine, some of that NyQuil or something. I don't know. Something. All right. So put these aside. Let's go ahead and see what this next row gives. The Magician, not the Three of Swords, and the Three of Wands. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so what we got going on here now, we have the Magician, right? Somebody is once again trying to manifest something, okay? With somebody getting out of that Ten of, of Swords energy, I think they're figuring, oh, well, hey, you know, you know, I'm skilled. I can get out of anything, you know? I have the ability to harness, okay? And so this person is feeling that, you know, they have the power, the fire, the water, the air and the earth, and the spirit as represented by the tools in the picture, you know? And, uh, it's just a card to remind us to be conscious about what's going on around us and what we deliberately want, right? Some of us don't want that Ten of Swords energy, so... In this situation, the person is stuck, but they've manifested whatever they've, they've, they're they stuck on right now. They've manifested that, you know, being this magician right here. And the reason why it went so badly, because there was this Three of Swords energy. You know, you had purity right there, this Princess of Cups, and you brought in a Three of Swords energy. And now you're just waiting. Waiting for what? I don't know, but you're waiting for something to come in. And if you're waiting for a certain somebody to contact you or do anything like that, I mean, <clears throat> it's hard to tell if they're going to because maybe it's your time to contact, okay? Maybe it's your turn because maybe they've given up, okay? Let's go ahead and see what this uh, Ten of Swords in Reverse is. 
What is this Ten of Swords in Reverse going on right here? What is, can you clarify that for us, Spirit, please? Let us know what Ten of Swords in Reverse is all about. Okay, well, we've got a couple cards here. We have the Three of Cups, then we have the Hanging Man, and then we have the Nine of Cups. So here, you know, somebody was happy that they got out of this energy, this, nine, this Ten of Swords uh, energy, this backstabbing. And it left them hanging in the balance, okay? So somebody might have separated from somebody because they were stabbed in the back. And it left them to be in the hangman position. And they're celebrating because they finally got out of it. And they're now looking for, or currently in, their Nine of Cups energy. This wish fulfillment, right? Um, this might have happened to them, okay? Or they might have thought it was going to happen, okay? What about this Princess of Cups right here? What's going on with this Princess of Cups? Tell us what you got about that. Princess of Cups. Okay. Well, first we have Temperance in Reverse. So somebody got tired of waiting. Somebody got tired of waiting for something that I don't think they felt that it was going to come to fruition, maybe. With this Princess of Cups. Somebody didn't want to wait anymore. They didn't want to deal with it. Seven of Rods. Somebody stopped fighting. They didn't want to fight anymore. They didn't want to deal with it. They didn't feel that it was what they deserved. This Princess of Cups definitely deserves more than whatever, okay, was going on. And somebody is probably moving away from that situation because they just don't want to deal with it anymore, okay? And that's the way it goes. When you don't make a move, you lose your chance, okay? See what this Nine of Swords is. What happened with this Nine of Swords? So with this Nine of Swords, we have the Six of Rods in reverse. So there is no victory here. There's no victory with just sitting around and crying over things, you know, and working it out in your head over and over again. You've ruined it. So, you know, Spirit's saying that you, you, you know, bumped out. You didn't do the right thing with that that six of rods in reverse. There's no celebration. There's no victory. It's very sad. And that was probably your, most likely, that was your twin flame that, that uh, you lost. Okay? And no wonder you're crying over it because you don't want to deal with it. Because you're afraid of what you've done. And now... You're going to be paying it out to two people because, uh, you know, you wanted a ten, you wanted that ten of cups, that happy life and happy, wonderful things, everything. But, you know, you messed up, and now this person has turned their back on you. And what did you do with this magician here? <laughs> you stabbed somebody in the back. You stabbed somebody in the back. Or you got stabbed in the back. Somebody got stabbed in the back. They tried to manifest something. It could be involving a Queen of Pentacles, an Earth sign, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And it has made somebody feel trapped in a situation. So somebody might have uh, stabbed you in the back. And um, it was a Queen of Pentacles. And have left you trapped and bound and blinded in a current situation. And you're like, it's like jail. It's like jail and blind at the same time. What about this Three of Swords? What about this Three of Swords? Spirit, tell us about the Three of Swords. Come on, I'm dying. <laughs> okay. Ace of Pentacles. So somebody wanted to start a financial beginning with you. Something new, a great idea, great endeavor, you know, something brand new. But what's the Three of Swords, though? Gosh, lots of swords. Five of swords. Okay, somebody beat some sort of battle in some situation, but it's involving a three of swords energy, right? So you might have had to go to court. You might have to do something like that, but 
came out in the, in the uh, upright position. And it might have to do with this Queen of Pentacles. And then, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is like a single woman. She can take care of herself. She don't need no man to take care of her. You know what I'm saying? What about this Three of Wands? The Knight of Rods. Somebody coming in with, you know, their stuff, trying to get it. Ace of Cups wants to start a passionate new beginning with you, possibly. Is that true? We'll see. <coughs> Excuse me. Final card. Final card here on this story. Final card on this story. What's going on in my current situation? What's going on? Final card. The final countdown. Oh, <laughs> you got two cards. Well, the Queen of Cups is here. She's around. She definitely wants to start new. She always does. She's always happy and in love. But unfortunately, we have the lovers in reverse. Somebody needs to come, come forward and speak their truth. <laughs> Somebody needs to stop being so stubborn and start manning up or womaning up. Okay? So I do have some oracle cards here. I'm going to see what's going on with these in this situation of what's going on in my current situation. Let us know, spirit, God, angels, universe, ancestors. Let us know what the heck is going on because it's just so hard, this communication. Somebody's really going through a hard time and, you know, maybe, you know, you need to have a little bit more patience, whoever, you know, because things happen and take time. Okay, this is the last time I'll spin it, if anything. So we're going to find out here what God, angels, universe, ancestors, whoever you pray for, wants you to know in this situation. This is how we're going to, this is how we're going to solve some things, maybe. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. First card out, expansion. Next card out, isolation. Next card out, mysticism, okay? So in this situation, it seems that somebody thought that going with someone else was going to expand their horizons. They were going to try and do the best they could, come up in the world, do whatever they could, and it ended up not being so well. So this expansion didn't lead to what they wanted. And this person definitely has an issue with communication, so that might be you. Or it might be the person we're talking about. But this person definitely, definitely has a uh, communication problem. And it's hard for them to expand on anything they're doing with this problem. They spend their time in isolation, thinking. Thinking about, you know, perhaps something important. Marriage, life, family. Right? Just um, lacking imagination and lacking the, the strength or courage to do whatever it is they need to do. Okay. And then we have mysticism. Somebody is definitely trying to manifest something. They're trying to manifest a new start, a new beginning in a situation. They're tired of the fighting and all the, the bothersome acts going on. They just want a fresh start. They just want things to be as wonderful as they used to be if we can remember what that is. Okay? So I'm going to go to the Buddha Wisdom deck and I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get two cards from Buddha Wisdom and kind of see, you know, what kind of suggestion Buddha has for us today because, you know, we can all use a little help sometimes. Okay? So, for the first card out, we have Primordial Buddha Vajrahara, brilliant sky, illuminating sun, the entire universe manifests out of awareness. That's the first card down. Next card down, Kali Trauma Nagmo's Mandala Mansion. Stand firm to cut through tension, doubt, and fear. Okay, so this is what the universe is wanting you to know. We all can manifest anything we want in life, okay? 
all we have to do is put forth the effort that will bring this manifestation to light. Okay? The sky is so vast, and beyond the sky is the universe. And there is so much space out there to expand if we wanted to, just like the mind. You can expand your mind beyond belief. You can expand it to know and to wonder about everything there is to know and wonder about. So what's happening here is you're needing to go within. You're needing to go and study a little bit more about life itself. Perhaps you're going to have to go read some certain books or something. But you need to study and you need to read. You know, getting information from other people is not the way. You must go to viable sources, okay? And the reason we do this is because we want to know that we are um, knowing and gaining proper information, okay? We don't want information that's not legitimate. So the best thing for you to do to find out things is to study on your own and figure it out yourself because you will know. Because somebody is saying things to you, perhaps, that is putting you in this kind of lower vibrational energy, and they're trying to scare you with their words, with their words that are definitely not liable or not viable, okay? I don't think this person is being honest with you, whoever this is, and I don't think that... Um, I think that anything they tell you, it would be suggested that you definitely, definitely look it up. And then we have Kelly Trom Nagmo's Mandala Mansion. Stand firm to cut through tension, doubt, and fear. Okay, and if there's tension going on in your life right now, the best thing for you to do is walk away and perhaps meditate. Drink some tea. You know, some hot tea. You know, that's what I'm drinking right now, but, you know, do something that's going to make you feel warm inside. Because it seems that m many people have been very cold to you, and I think you deserve more than that. I, I think you think so, too. <laughs> so it's time to comfort yourself and try to cut through that tension. Do not doubt what's in your mind, and if it's fear... You need to get rid of that. What are, what are you doubting? If you are doubting something, the best thing for you to do is what? Look it up. Look it up and see if those doubts are viable because they're probably not. All right? I think the best thing for you to do would be to just enjoy what's going on around you. Um, clarify situations. Know what's going on. Try and be observant. And you'll be able to find the truth. Don't ask people for suggestions, though. I don't, I don't advise that. Uh-uh. I advise you to find the information out yourself. You do what you feel. Okay? Just know that hurting others is not a good feeling. So don't go with that feeling, okay? <laughs> All right. Well, that was pile number one. I'm going to go ahead and start up with pile number two. Thank you for coming. And if you'd like to fast forward till the end, you're more than welcome for the additional messages. Thanks. Okay, this is for pile number two. For those of you who chose the pile, it looks like this. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. We're going to find out today what's going on in my current situation. God, angels, universe, ancestors, please tell us, uh, you know, what's going on in this current situation? Why is uh, something a little off? Is something a little off? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, one second, please. I feel like these cards are a little wacky right now. Okay. <clears throat> My bad. Sorry, we're going to go ahead and choose the energy. <laughs> I forgot to flip it for you guys, sorry. Okay, so we have Seven of Cups energy. Somebody has a lot of options. This could involve a Scorpio, okay? But somebody definitely does have a lot of options. I need three more cards to uh, see, start off this situation so you can find out what's going on. God, angels, universe, ancestors. One more shuffle and I'm going to split. Okay. Uh, oh, 
There's a first card out. Oh, no, there's two cards out. So that would be one and two. Let me see if I can get that last card out. One more card for this situation. Oh, okay, and we got it. So, starting off the situation, first we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Then we have oops, the Ten of Cups. Finally, we have the Knight of Coins. So somebody was coming into a situation, somebody was coming into a family situation, wanting to make uh, family ties and happiness happen. They needed to t come and tell their truth, but they never did. And this is why, you know, their Ten of Cups and their Knight of Coins, there might be a little bit of issues here. Okay. <clears throat> In regards to the Ace of Swords, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, sorry. The Ace of Swords reversed, it's, you know, kind of like it's the wrong time to begin something. It's, it's uh, Something's delayed. Somebody wants to have this Ten of Cups uh, happen, but it seems that they might be short on dough. Okay? And they're short on dough because of a situation that they're in, kind of a sticky situation. Either way, they're short on dough and they can't make things happen right now. And this is why... Um, Things might not be happening for you, or you might be thinking things are slow in your life. This person had a lot of options, and the options points out to a particular direction. Okay, and you know that Knight of Co Coins is a slow coming night, but you know what? That's how it's going right now. Okay, that's just the way it is. Let's go ahead and see what we got for a second row here for pile number two. Uh, Angels, Universe, Ancestors, please give me three more cards to let us know what's going on in this story when, in regards to what's going on in my current situation. What is going on? Temperance. What is going on in my current situation? I need two more cards, please. Two more cards, please. Two more cards. Two more cards. Tell me what's going on here. Okay, here they are. So, first card out was temperance, right? So somebody's had a lot of darn patience in this situation. And they're ready to tell you something. Um, they're ready to tell you something. They're ready to tell you that possibly... Uh, they're ready to tell you something, but they are nervous that you are going to turn down their offer of love. They are nervous or worried that you are not feeling the same way as they are. Okay? Maybe you don't have uh, this bond that you thought you did. Okay? But it's in reverse. Why? Because somebody's not coming forward with the truth. Straight up. That's what it is. Somebody is not coming forward with the truth. They want to have this Ten of Cups. They want to bring in the money. You know, they've been patient. They know you have been patient. But, you know, this it's not happening. This Ace of Cups is just not happening, and they're worried that you or they or somebody is not believing the fact that, hey, we are supposed to be together, but you're not seeing it, okay? What is that Ace of Swords right there? Spirit, tell us. What's that Ace of Swords right there? Because, you know, this sucks. It's sucking so far. Spirit, what is that Ace of Swords right there? Please let us know. What is that Ace of Swords right there? Tell me. Okay. So first we have the sun. Okay? And that's like the happiest. Everything is going good. But look. The Empress. It's in reverse. Somebody was in, unable, unable to tell somebody the truth of some sort. Right? They want to tell them they know that their bond is there. And they know that... You know, they want to see the world with this person. But they just can't spit it out. They just can't tell you. What about this Ten of Cups? What's going on with this Ten of Cups? Tell us what's up with this Ten of Cups. Shit, that shit flipped. I'm going to get it. 
Ace of Swords in reverse. They're not going to tell you. They're nervous. They're scared. They're chicken. They're cowards. They wanted to come in and tell you about this energy. They wanted to have victory with you. Okay? And they didn't get away with whatever it was they were getting away with. It didn't work for them. And they ended up getting stabbed in the back. Okay? Either they did or you did. <coughs> you didn't get that witch fulfillment. You didn't get that Ten of Cups. And what about this Knight of Coins? What is this fool about? What is this guy doing? Oh, he has options all over the place. Of course, right? Of course he does. He has options. He's got options with the Queen of Pentacles. Actually, the Nine of Pentacles. This is a woman who does not need a man to move forward. And this woman can share her emotions anywhere she pleases, and she is not afraid to cut you out of her environment. She knows what's best. She can share her emotions, but can you? And that's why you're stuck. What about this temperance? Tell us about the temperance, because you know what? Shoot. First of all, we have strength. You might be involved with a Leo. And this Leo, you think that that's your world. You might think that that person is your world. And you've been patient with this person. Why? I don't know. Because, you know, you've been patient. You've been had the strength. You believe that this person is your world. But I don't see anything good coming out of it. Do you? All I see is the chariot in reverse because it's just too much for you to handle. It's a burden. And, you know, there was going to be a celebration. What, between you and two other girls? No thanks. Ace of Cups? What is this Ace of Cups? Because we're not trying to celebrate with other, all these other hoochies. Uh-uh. If you want to celebrate with me, you celebrate with me one-on-one -on -one monogamy, right? Because otherwise... No love. You get no love. I'm not interested in anybody that's not going to commit to me. That's what you're saying, right? And you're saying that to the King of Pentacles. It doesn't matter how much money he has, but it does matter if, it's, if you're juggling. And if that's what you're going to do, then you're not going to have me, right? And that's why we have at the very end the Four of Wands in reverse. Why do we have the Four of Wands in Reverse Spirit? Why do we have the Four of Wands in Reverse Spirit? The reason we have the Four of Wands in Reverse... Okay, let me just gather up all these cards. Somebody was fighting over the situation. Yes, of course. Okay. Perhaps fighting with this Queen of Cups. You could be that Queen of Cups. And, you know, you've locked the door, unlocked the door to some mystery in their mind. They understand things. They, they remember you from the past and how caring you were. Yet, they walked away or you walked away. And that's why this new beginning is in reverse. You're not going to have that fool's journey because somebody walked away because somebody couldn't speak up. Somebody was being cowardly. They were not speaking up. <clears throat> they kept up with all of their choices here, okay? They never looked at, they never put the work in, okay? They never put the work in. So basically, that's what happened in your situation. They're not going to put the work in for you. You're going to feel backstabbed all the time. They're going to be argumentative. Somebody's always going to be holding the ball and never letting you hold it. They're going to be celebrating with all kinds of women all the time, juggling, and um, just they're going to just be stuck with remembering the past. All right, so right here I have some oracle cards that I'm going to see what, you know, spirit, universe, ancestor, God, whoever it is that you pray to, what do they suggest for you to do in this current situation? Because, I mean, shoot, man. I didn't see that one that flipped down, so I'm going to take these other ones because there's like four. <laughs> okay.
Okay. All right, or five, shoot. This is what spirit wants you to know. Uh, whoops, sorry, whoa. Uh, pushed up the whole uh, table. Okay, first we have quest. Somebody needs to go on an inner quest. They need to use their instincts to know what is right and what is wrong, or their guilt is going to eat them up in this situation. And having impatience is not going to give you anything. So that's basically what universe wants you to know. You need to go on a quest for inner self, inner healing, maybe childhood wounds. You need to have that instinct to know that whatever your instinct is telling you, that's what you follow. You may have guilt for certain situations and you might be drinking or doing something like that to cover that guilt. That's not going to help you. What's, what's going to help you is to be patient because being impatient will not get you anything. You will enter, enter situations too early and you will not be able to solve the problem in general. All right, so now I want to know what Buddha wisdom has to say. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Let me get a drink of my tea. I have some... Uh, knowledge from Buddha Wisdom. I'm going to find out what Buddha Wisdom has to say. Because, you know, this is ridiculous. Buddha, we need to know. We need some honest to goodness wisdom from you. First card out, Skull Cup. Of the inner offering given creates a flow of health and love. Just like it says for those two cards. You need to go within. You have to go with inner offering. Inner, meaning yourself, meditation. Inner offering as in you're going to your inner gods and you're asking them questions, okay? You're not going to other people. You know that the answer is inside you and you know that's which way you need to go. Rahula, fierce planetary deity of the sky. Confront the things that scare you the most. Okay, so that's another thing. Somebody's keeping something in so much that you're causing your insides to be just mangled, okay? Your back is probably killing you, I'm sure, number one, okay? Your neck is probably hurting because you know when we have these issues when it comes to even you haven't even hurt yourself or anything, there is possibility that a lot of these pains that you get on your body are from you know, negative outlooks on things like negativity, not being able to express yourself, not being able to talk to anybody about your issues. You know, this is definitely a problem and it can lead to health issues. So the best thing for you to do is you need to find something or the things that scare you the most and confront them because you're never going to heal unless you confront those fears and those terrible things that have happened in the past. That is the way that you are going to find love and light in your life. And that is the way that you are going to heal from the situation at hand. Okay? You have to believe and put more trust in God. Because God is the one, or the universe ancestors, whoever it is you pray to, that is the person that's looking out for you, aside from your ancestors, you know? So, yeah. Once again, please subscribe, like, and share these videos. Um... Whoops, share these videos. Uh, sorry. <coughs> this was formerly Sacred Geometry Universe. I would like to say that um, I hope that all of you guys find your way here because I would like to build my family back up again. I am moving to Minnesota. Sorry, not Minnesota, Missouri. Woohoo! And right now I'm just waiting for my um, housing information to go through. <clears throat> staying at the beautiful uh, something in in Kansas City but um, right now um, you know I'm feeling a little under the weather but I'm feeling good enough to know that we can find our answers I was sick for two days but you know what I'm getting better and I'm going to go get a little bit of medicine right now and I'm gonna get even better and I am going to start pushing out these readings again Okay, so go ahead, like, subscribe, share, and comment on these videos. My name is Mona. You found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, formerly Sacred Geometry Universe. Welcome. Thank you for coming back, and I can't wait to see you next time.
拜。